All the Money in the World, last movie of the year. It's supposed to be a great drama. Christopher Plummer replaced Kevin Spacey. Michelle Williams, Mark Wahlberg, great cast, $40 million budget. Ridley Scott directing. It had all the ingredients to be a great hit, be a good movie. It's a good movie, it's a go, it's a must go. Or we finish a year with another disappointment of the year. We had so many this year. You reviews with Frankie D. Last movie review of the year. All the money in the world. Coming up. All the money in the world. Ridley Scott, great director. Surprise, I didn't even know he was working in this movie. And we have Christopher Plummer, Michelle Williams, Mark Wahlberg, finally in a decent movie. No, a Transformer or Daddy Home 2 or 3 or 25 or Ted or whatever. Christopher Plummer is, had to reshot the whole movie, the whole scenes in two weeks. This is a big controversy because Kevin Spacey did the part. And uh, I agree, they cast the best cut. Christopher Plummer, to me, is one of the best actors of all time. And it makes sense. It's an older guy playing an older guy. This is totally a Paul Getty. I mean, we know the story in 1973. This is a billionaire and his grandson was kidnapped and the guy didn't want to pay for it. Uh, it was all over the news. And this story, I don't want to tell you spoilers. You know this because all the trailers and the previews is two hours and 15 minutes and I would say it would be okay cutting 10 more minutes if we would cut it 10 minutes it would be better but I think the story was done so beautifully the performance of Michelle Williams was awesome I'm sure she's going to be nominated in Sun Degrees for the Oscars, Golden Globes, Sacks something's going to be nominated for her Mark Wahlberg, it's a bad time. He does a serious movie and a decent movie. He's great in this one. But Christopher Plummer, my God, he just is the movie. He had to reach out every single part that Kevin Space did in two weeks. Two weeks, $40 million budget, really scope, pull it off. Unbelievable. He's a great director, but unbelievable and and it's believable. And like, if you didn't know what happened, and some of you maybe didn't know there was another actor in the first, and shot it before. If you didn't know, you don't know. The movie was perfect done. And uh, Christopher Plummer is going to be nominated for the Oscar, could be winning the Oscar. And excellent. And you know the story, this 1973, Paul Getty, which is owner a couple, the states, a couple big museums in Los Angeles, one in Malibu and one in Beverly Hills. I remember a long time ago, I think about 20, 25 years ago, I went to the one in Malibu. It was beautiful. In this movie, they're showing when they're planning to do this and um, show the real life of this guy. And really, you don't care for this guy. But it's unbelievable in the way he's telling the story, the grandson. The only problem I have with the grandson is, is you don't know much about him. And really, you don't care what happened to him. But you care what happened with the rest of it. The mother, who was Michelle Williams, played unbelievable. Mark Wahlberg, again, awesome. It's about time he go back to these kind of movies. A drama movie, he did a great job because he's a good actor, but you know, he go for the money and all those big budget movies and you know, stupid movies, but you know, this time he did a good job. The budget is $40 million and probably went a little bit more because the reshot of everything. It's a beautiful story. It's well done. You just want to know what happened, what's going on. If you don't know the real story, what happened, you really want to know. Uh, but this whole story is, is bringing to you because Christopher Plummer's performance. 
I mean, really, it is outstanding. It is, I don't know who could do it better. I mean, they picked the right guy, and thank God it was the right guy, because when you see the previews, if you look in YouTube, and you look the early trailers where Kevin is facing, he doesn't look old. He got all that makeup and fake old, and it look fake old. Christopher Plummer is old, and he played perfectly. And this is the kind of movie I'm going to make a short review. This is, in my opinion, this is no go. This is a must go. The end of the year, my last review. And thank God I do a good review on a good movie. This is a must go. You should go and see it. It released worldwide, I think, this weekend. It was released in Christmas in few theaters. But worldwide and all over the country is released this weekend. And I hope you go and see it. It's been time because it's an unbelievable story. Um, Surprise for me, I didn't know. I always admired Paul Getty because of museums and all the art that he had. But when you see this movie, uh, you walk out with a different image <laughs> of this guy. But out of that, it's just the story is well, well done. Again, it would be nice if it would be a 10 minute short, but it doesn't matter. It's just you don't look in the watch because you want to know what's going on. You don't know what and how it ended. And, um, this is one of the best movies in the year, in my opinion. Uh, it could be in the top 10. Something I'm going to do next week, we start 2018, with the best movies that I review, and few that I didn't review because it was done before I started my channel. So I'm going to do the top 10 of the best movies, in my opinion, that were worth it to see and worth it to spend the money. And this is absolutely in the top 10, I give you already a preview. This movie is a must go, spend the money, use the movie pass, it's worth it. And the reviews I'm gonna do for the best of 2018, they're gonna be the two worst movies of the year. I thought it was only one, but another one is stuck there and I cannot stop saying the worst. And you will know, coming up in a week, Thank you for coming. I hope you go and see this movie. Uh, enjoy it. It's a it's a great performance. It's a great music. It's, it's it's just really it's just overall cinematography. Everything is perfect in this movie, and you will love it. And if you disagree, just give me a comment, give me a thumbs down, thumbs up, uh, and let me know. It says in the top you're gonna see. You like it? Don't like it? It's a go. It must go. Forget about it. Don't go. Let me know. Support your theater. Thank you for coming. If you like what I do, subscribe in the bottom. You see my face with Yoda, my latest reviews. And uh, thank you for joining me in this wonderful six months that I've been doing this. And uh, with 37,000 views, a lot, a lot of subscribers from the UK, Japan, Canada, Australia, U US, uh, Argentina, Germany. Thank you very much for all the subscribers. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the people come back and watching me. And I hope I see you again next year with more movies, with my top 10 and my worst two, and new movies coming up in January. I'm excited to see it. Happy New Year. Thank you for coming. Go to the movies, support your theater. Ciao.